after that, I had to move out from India and come here in Nepal. But on my journey, I screwed up my graphics card. This is the graphics card? Yes, it is a GTX 970 and I screwed up. After coming here, I just boot up my computer and it showed the resolution 800 by 600 scrap. And I'll check out my properties. Then it was showing a card error 43. I tried uninstalling, reinstalling the drivers using DMM tools, whatever. And I formatted from several Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, nothing worked out. I tried my old GeForce GT 900 series. Uh, it goes well. Means the problem is not in the motherboard, the problem is in the graphics card. I screwed up. Most of the people that are in but to tell you the fact, RMA is not available in the part of India. They only fix and repair with some additional charges. So there is no RMA, there is no exchange in the warranty period. It's just my 8 month running right now, but I screwed up. I've seen a lot of videos, a lot of tutorials. Finally, I used blow dryer to but blow it did not work. Finally, my friend here got me a microwave and I'm trying here today. I'm gonna put it in 200 degree temperature and I'm gonna let it there for 10 minutes. So I've already taken out this fan and the lower pitch. So all it has inside is the graphics card body itself. As it was shown in the YouTube, a lot of people, they kept this four bolts of aluminum foil and on top of that they put it their graphics card and they bake it for like 10 minutes in 200 degrees Celsius. Even the Linus Tech Tips, Linus did the same. So I trust him. But uh, he did for the dead graphics card. In my case, it is as good as dead, but at least it uh, does not show a black screen. It gives some signal, but 800 by 600 resolution doesn't support any game, doesn't do anything, doesn't even detect any VGA control panel. Bear with me, guys. This is my last resort. If it doesn't turn us out, pay hundred dollar from just like that. In the name of God. I'm gonna pause this video and I'm gonna roll out after ten minutes because it got some issues with the timer. So I have to do stopwatch on my mobile. Hey guys, pause this video. The baking process is over and it left me no choice but to throw this card away because it popped the capacitors four of them and like I was baking a corn. Other capacitors are also bent and if I would have kept it any minute more it would have thrown up too. I wish I would have kept it for a little less like three minutes less smell was coming but I thought maybe after ten minutes it will work like magic. But I was wrong, it left me with no choice. The card is useless now. Capacitors are all in my hand. It has cooled down now, gradually. Before I was screwed up. Now I'm totally fucked up. There is no option at all. I'm done. Maybe I'm done for good. Maybe now. It's time to buy some Pascal GTX 1070. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll go for AMD. But NVIDIA is good. NVIDIA fucked me up. I was really excited about the series. But later when I started getting this problem, when I researched on it, found out many people having the same issue with exactly GTX 970. Maybe we should not purchase some cheap low budget cards. Maybe this time I'll go for... Pascal GTX 1080 Ti. This was one heck of a piece. I screwed up, man. I have nothing to do. Capacitors all in my hand. It's all broken. I'm done. I'm done, man. I'm done. Maybe, or just maybe, changing these capacitors with the new one might help. But the chances are 50 50. Might work. It might not work. Most probably it will not. Just gotta try, bro. Gotta try, man. However, last thing I wanna say is, hey, just notice the color. This power cord here, right here, got a fan. It was white before. Now, after the baking process, it's like a bit tighter and it's yellowish now. And this will look more yellowish. And this power connector, it got some bulging there because it was just about to get baked because it's a plastic. However, I'll see you in the next video. Let's see if I could find this capacitor to replace them. And because it's a factory built system, finding the exact same capacitor might be an issue. But I'll try. This is $300 right here. Got up fresh from the oven baked. And I'll see you in the next video. If you own NVIDIA cards, be careful. And if it is GTX 970, be more careful. Hello, guys. 
Welcome back. I'm here today to tell you a good news. The good news is my graphics card came alive back from the dead. You know, I told you about that capacitors coming out. I just used a screwdriver, turned that rubber thing back inside a bit and I used this sewing machine's needle because it is thin. You can get it from your mom or inside your house, not a problem. I used this pin to make that hole bigger for the soldering because it was not going back inside because after it came out the hole tightened it back. So I used a soldering iron to loosen it up but it was blocking the hole more. So I was just using this pin to make the hole bigger. I was just putting it inside and shaking it a bit. So I made all of 8 holes for 4 capacitors because all the capacitor size was the same except for one in the corner which delete came out actually so it was uh, no confusion for me which one to put where I just put it everyone in the hole uh, how it was in the order and after that I just put a soldering iron and I just soldered from the back side of it I put that thermal paste back and put that fan back put everything back up and I put it back inside there was another video where I heard it might happen because some electric discharge might not be possible last time you shut down the computer. It happens mostly when you plug out things and you put it back. So to discharge that electric circuit, you need to press power button and hold it for at least 10 seconds. It will show like it's going to boot up but it will not. After some time it goes back off and then you press it just once and let it boot. I was kind of tired trying several techniques together so thought of using this technique with the microwave technique. I'm not sure, maybe both of them work. I put that graphics card inside, press that button and hold it for a while. When it went off, I pressed it again. So whatever the electric thing was there, it discharged itself. And when I pressed the button again, it booted up and it got me still 800 by 600 resolution and I was like, oh crap, what should I do now? But at some point, I was happy that it is still good it up but right after three seconds it detected my graphics card and now i'm running it from last three days i finished tom clancy's ghost recon it was a 13 hour gameplay now i'm playing sniper library see nvidia control panel is there before it was not detecting it and in the setting in the display adapters nvidia geforce gtx 970 it is detecting now without the error 43 so this device is working properly driver details events and resources see before it was showing it wasn't using any resources because the graphics card is not working or something like that but now a lot of resources has been consumed by this graphics card it is a base with no conflicts you are good here and i was just playing this tom clancy's ghost recon just to show you it's running in ultra setting everything maxed out direct tax 11 decilon everything enabled the dust the wind the fog everything is realistic this graphics card is killing it this game is no challenge for gtx 970 it has no issues whatever the game is cool man player muscle everything is so realistic it is so awesome man and this graphics card it just saved me thanks a lot the internet the youtube tried every bit i just realized in my previous video i mentioned it as microwave but it was open it is said really clearly in the youtube forums do not use microwave use oven because there's a big gap between those two oven is mostly used for baking things but microwave is used mostly for cooking purposes you use some kind of radiation to cook it up and oven it just heat things up and just bake it up nice and smooth naturally something like that okay guys oh my gosh that's a tank thank you so much guys thank you for watching my videos and i'll see you next time with a very nice tutorials bye guys